Now, I know what some of you are thinking. The guy who made the popular Crank That song made another song? I don't believe it. I know, right? I featured one of his other music videos on this show in season one, and I still don't believe it. Yet, here we are. Is this what black people think white people are like without black people? Because this is set in 2010, you idiots. I'm sorry, white people. I'm sorry that this idiot thinks that you're all stereotypical Canadians in the summer. Now, this is the part of the video I would ask why it's ripping off Pleasantville, but here I am asking why is this video ripping off Method and Red? These people look like they've never seen a black person before. I'm pretty sure someone here has a TV to see one, or the internet, or a book. Are you telling me that Soldier Boy's music brings color to all this? I doubt it. If anything, not only would everything stay black and white, but everybody will be set back three decades. Speakers going hammer. Speakers going hammer. And those blasts would rather commit suicide than listen to the song. Follow me like the Wizard of OZ. You don't just throw down the sign and you own the house. If anything, you guys are glorified squatters. Early in the morning, yeah. round the crack of dawn, yeah. wave to Yeah, trick, yeah. <laughs> Damn Tourette's. They're banging in my trunk. Everybody in my city show me love. I no, seriously, Soldier Boy, have you ever seen a white person before? Because all these white people are dressed like it's the 1950s. Someone's house just blew up because of your crappy song. And yeah, I would rather watch the We're Not Gonna Take a Music video right now. Oh boy, white people. You know what that means. Yes. See kids, this is what happens when you ask for D's over F's on your report card. You get to throw as many house parties as you want, complete with women, booze, and weed, and you won't even get a noise complaint. Soldier Boy is telling these kids to go across the street because that's where Aaron's party is being held. It makes sense. Most white people here are dressed like it's the 1950s, like Aaron Carter's parents. And with that other choice being presented, they immediately went home and did something productive with their lives. It's fitting that DJ Hero was in the music video by Soldier Boy, considering that nobody remembers either one after the year 2010. I'm more interested in the lyrics to this song than this garbage video. Because I got my speakers going hammer, bammer, 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 speakers going hammer, speakers going hammer. Speakers going hammer, bammer, bammer, bammer. Speakers going hammer, speakers going hammer. I'm reading lyrics to a song that was played on the radio. I'm reading lyrics to a song that was played. I'm reading lyrics to a song. This isn't a song! Oh, don't be so modest about your dancing. We all know that you can't dance. You did that one dance that was popular for 15 minutes, and now no one remembers it because no one wants to. And then they had sex, but there was no girl. I'm guessing this white neighborhood is the place where that white nerdy guy from the last Social Boy video I looked at is from. Yeah, Soldier Boy knows how white people are. I don't feel like I would like to be at this party. I don't care that there are hot, drunk white women everywhere. Besides the fact that there are no cute guys. I'm just tired of just watching all of this. I don't know what final thoughts I would give this video, because it gave me nothing. It's an urban house party in a white neighborhood. What did anyone expect? A music video? Wait, now I'm gonna watch a movie that this music video totally ripped off. Cool as ice. Drop it. I regret my words. What the hell is that? Drop that zero and get with the hero. You are the girl. Oh boy, white people. You know what that means. What do you mean you like cricket better?